Hey guys, today we are in Dublin, Ireland, and it's our first time in the country. Last week we were eating some Irish food, and this week we will be exploring the city. St. Patrick's Cathedral. Yeah, and before we even look at the cathedral, look at this little park. There's just people hanging out everywhere. Uh, the cathedral itself is so impressive looking. It almost looks gothic in a sense. So this cathedral dates back to 1191. It's been here a really long time and yeah. it's the National Cathedral of the Church of Ireland. It's actually the tallest church in Ireland, not cathedral. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, and it's the largest one as well. It's one of the more central and popular parks here in the city. Yeah, we actually um, ran here the other day. It's perfect size and like Anna said, it's smack dab right in the main uh, center of the city here. So it's easy to get to. So we seem to have this knack of finding bands in cities when we're just uh, wandering around. The last one we think was Budapest? Well, yeah, we were just, <laughs> there were singers in Budapest. Yeah. Whether we got them on camera or not, we're not sure, but they were definitely in Vienna. I'll link Budapest up here. It might have been Vienna too. One of the funny things here is that there are so many seagulls. Look at this, guys. They're almost pretending to be ducks. <laughs> See down there? They're all seagulls. Where are the ducks? I don't know, maybe they eat them. <laughs> We just came over to this place called the Porter House, and we didn't know this coming in. We just kind of walked in off the street. Apparently, it is the largest independent Irish brewery. Irish brewery. Now we were going to try some Guinness, but uh, we all had Guinness before. They brew their own stout here, and a few others. So we're going to try it. So here's what we got. We got a lager, an Irish red, and an oyster stout, which uh, you just said has the card description actually says it's made with oysters. Interesting. All right. First up, left focus, there you go. Temple, it's a lager. I'll go first. Ooh, it's tasty. It's nice and light, easy drinking. Okay, after that we have a nitro red. Interesting. Now I think Irish, or Ireland is known for the reds. Yes, it's actually called an Irish red. Mmm. <laughs> It's nice and foamy on the top. It's very good. We're normally not big fans of red beer either. And last up, the oyster stout. Now, I'm not a big stout fan. No. I don't really like Guinness. I don't like dark beer. So. We're not big stout fans. You like it better than I do. Mm. Does it taste like oysters? It does not taste like oysters, if you're wondering. <laughs> it's pretty good though. It's thick, I don't know. Stouts are interesting because usually the alcohol percentage is light. But not they're too bad, actually. They're thick beer though, so um, it's a good size because we just couldn't drink them all. It's thick. We also got one more surprise. We got some Jameson to try. Now, the funny thing about this, well it's Irish whiskey, but I don't think I've ever tried Jameson. I don't think I have either. I'm not a big whiskey fan, but... So, I, I have it uh, neat, I think is how they say it. Yeah, they gave it some ice. I have some ice too, I'm gonna try it each way, but let's, let's give it a try. It's not bad, you know, like it's, it's nice and warm. I kind of like it neat. It's like caramelly or something. Um, it's got a bit of bite, like you notice the, the bite to it on your lips, like right away I could, it's almost stings a little, but um, it goes down pretty easy. It's pretty smooth, actually. It's, 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 mm. it's good. Yeah, I like it a lot. I wouldn't want to drink a lot of it, but yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, now we're over at Trinity College, and uh, we're going to go wait in this big giant line behind us. Um, to go into this amazing looking library. There's also a very famous book in there, but um, we're not we're not that interested in the book. Honestly, we just really want to see the library, but we're gonna wait in this line. They said it would be about 10 to 15 minutes to get tickets and then you can go right in. Yeah, so. and here's the thing, you guys know we don't do lines, but today we're doing it for you. <laughs> Have 
have to be pretty quiet in here because it is a library and people are not talking very loud. Hopefully you can hear me. It's really, really, really impressive. All these books, the wood, you can smell it. It's really, really nice. Yeah, you can, you can mm -hmm. totally smell the paper. So, get this. This whole hall here is 65 meters long and has 200,000 books. And they're like the oldest books in the library. It was built between 1712 and 1732, I believe. Crazy. And it's one of the most impressive libraries in the world. And yep. I think it's the oldest library in all of Ireland. It's definitely the most <laughs> impressive library that we've ever seen. Yep. like blew us away. Uh, Anna knew more about this place than I did going in, but I can tell you, like, I didn't expect it to be like that. That was just so impressive, so impressive. Okay, it was 28 euros to get in, it's worth every penny. 14 per person. Yeah, four, right, yeah. 14 per person. Yeah. And um, we didn't actually see, I think the main attraction is the, is book. the book of Kells. Yeah. Uh, I had to look up what that is, but it's considered Ireland's national treasure. It was written yeah. or produced in the ninth century, and I think it has to do with the gospel, like the four books of the gospel, it's illustrated, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to see, honestly, the uh, library itself. We were yeah. more into that. Oh, and that room so was so impressive. It's maybe one of the coolest rooms I've ever yeah. seen, and definitely the coolest library. And they, so. they organized the books in a very cool way. Oh, yeah. So they really, I, we overheard a guy telling somebody that they organize the books by size. So the bigger books on the bottom, and they get smaller as it goes way, way, way up. Yeah, how cool. <laughs> so side note, this is, I think we said already, at Trinity College. Really nice campus, so it's worth yeah. coming to visit Beautiful. anyway. And it was founded in 1592 by none of than Queen Elizabeth I. Okay, so now we are gonna head into the main center of Dublin. We're gonna head to Temple Bar. And it's not a bar, it's an area. <laughs> If uh, any of you watching know why it's called the Temple Bar, let us know, because I have no idea. But we do know there are pubs everywhere. Yes. <laughs> it's very much known, I think, for its late night uh, bars yeah. and lots of restaurants, shopping, all that stuff. Something I am definitely loving about this city is that all the bars and pubs have these like gorgeous display of flowers in front of them. It makes it so colorful. Yeah, it's so colorful. When I think of Ireland, I always I just thought of green and maybe some yellow, but uh, it's a very colorful city, this yeah. is. Dublin, you're impressive. So we just realized we haven't given you guys many facts yet. Uh, Dublin is located on the east of Ireland. It is the capital, actually, of the Republic of Ireland. And there is how many? 530,000 people, I think, in Dublin, within like the city. So right now we are on the river. I think it's called River Lifey, I think. Did I get that right? <laughs> I think it's likely. Okay. And we're on Millennium Bridge, which, by the way, no offense, Dublin is not nearly as impressive <laughs> as, as Millennium Bridge in London. We have that on our Instagram once. I don't think we ever vlogged it, but it was on our Instagram, and you should be following us on there. We'll link it below. Yeah, and the river is pretty big as well, so there's a whole bunch of bridges, but I th do you know the length? Oh, yeah. It's 125 kilometers and goes right through Dublin. You guys, people are starting to put locks on the bridge, and it's not a good idea. We all know what happened in Paris. <laughs> yeah, they had to remove the uh, sides, I think, of the bridge and replace it. Yeah, and they moved the locks to another uh, bridge altogether. Yeah, they did. So Anna's got her phone out doing a little bit of research, and we just uh, found out that the castle, it's right in town. We actually thought it was outside the city, so... Um, we go. Yeah, we'll go check it out. Sure. So we have made it to Dublin Castle. As we said, it's super central. I thought it was gonna be like at least a 10 minute walk and all of a sudden we were here. So this complex itself actually dates back to the 13th century, but the buildings that you see are were all built I think in the 18th century. <laughs> Birds. <laughs> Nowadays it's only used for uh, like government functions. I think the inauguration of any new president takes place here. Yeah, to me it sort of looks like a mix of uh, old like this looks pretty old, but then when you go over to this side, it, it looks kind of new. It's it's very cool structure. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
So guys, uh, we're gonna wrap up the video, but what a time we had in Dublin. Unfortunately, it was not very long, but that just means we're gonna come back. Yeah, we did two videos here, not nearly long enough. I think mm. we were here for a few days in total. Yeah. But it definitely gave us a little bit of a taste, yeah. literally and figuratively, um, for Ireland. And we yeah. definitely, definitely want to see more. So we will at some point come back and yeah. try to do much more of the country. Because, yeah, we'd love to see it. Absolutely. Dublin's been amazing. So I'm sure the rest of the country is yeah. equally as awesome. Yep. There's also something else we want to talk about. And we, we rarely say it. But we want to thank you guys for watching our videos. There's a lot of you following along now. When we, when we started this whole thing, we didn't know what was going to happen. We did, honestly didn't know if we were going to make more than... 10 videos um, but you guys seem to be enjoying it and we read every single comment we love when we get comments it's the only way to know um, who's watching honestly be nice. <laughs> yeah be nice but um, yeah leave us a comment we love that stuff if you haven't already make sure you go back and watch our last video we were eating some Irish food we went on a food tour and that was fun and we're still it's really yummy too yeah we're still kind of stuff <laughs> Ireland's been treating us well. It has. All right, guys, that's it. From Dublin, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon. Wait, 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 wait. We, we totally forgot to say where we're going next. This one we're super excited about. We haven't spent nearly enough time here. We are going to Southeast Asia.